The Redeemer has risen. Hey, what's up, guys? Marcy here, coming to do another first person video, and today I'll be doing some games versus Dimitri. And I'm feeling quite fresh because I haven't made any videos in a long, long while. Anyways, I'm going to be Reaper 17 in this first game. And it's best doing these VODs when I'm actually in the mood. I have attempted to do it before when I wasn't in the mood. Obviously, that didn't turn out uh, quite so well. But nevertheless, I want to get this introduction out of the way because, of course, I need to focus on the game at hand. And I'm, I'm drawn Reaper 17, which means if he is Trial 59, I'm screwed. Every other matchup is winnable, uh, especially versus Scrin, because you do have the cheaper shields on your tripods. Plus, you have better tripods because you can charge them up and they do more damage when charged. So that's pretty sick. Anyways, I'm going to send one buzzer up in the top here just so I can, you know, scout to see if he's going to be disintegrators. Uh, he's going to be Scrin as well, which kind of sucks, uh, to be honest with you. Alright, you shouldn't be able to get that though. And yeah, I mean, he's not going to get all that. Wow, really? That is weird. I didn't expect him to win that fight there. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you distract yourself by talking too much. But yeah, whoever clicks most wins in Buzzer versus Buzzer fights. There's not really much to it besides that. But yeah, I mean, I'm versus Screen. That kind of did put me off it a little bit because I'm not able to scout him now. But as long as he is not rushing, I should be fine. That's pretty irrelevant that he killed three buses there. It's not the, it's not a huge deal losing um, scouts early on in screen mirrors. Uh, it's not really game changing. But yeah, I'm keeping a shredded turret queued, or in my case, a buzzer hive, just in case I am getting rushed by distance or anything. But the time has now passed since that um, was uh, going to be happening. So I'm just going to eco like you would. Okay, he's going to be screen. Good to take out my spikes. Okay, that really sucks. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's one thing I don't, don't like about random mirrors. I don't know what to scout for. And he's going to kill my spike. Not only that, but... Uh, gonna see if I can try and kill this buzzer here. Yep, I got a bit lucky there. Okay. And now he's going to go ahead and try and kill the other spike, which is over there now. I'm not going to let him destroy two spikes, though, because that's just a bit, a bit much, in my view. Okay. So if he gets two spikes here, I'm, I'm pretty much probably going to lose this game. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to also try and take his harvester out here as well. So I'm going to send some disintegrators up here. Try and kill a harvester, which he may have there. May get lucky. May not. But nevertheless, I'm going to try and take his spike over. Uh, I need to do something besides uh, eco casually because I just lose, did just lose a spike, which is unfortunate. So yeah, I'm going to come up here, see if he's uh, over here with a harvester. And as I can see, that he is there. I'm not sure who is exactly faster. I think disintegrators are slower than harvesters. So we'll be able to escape there, unfortunately for me. So, yeah. I'm going to come over here, try and take out his Tyberium Spike, go for more Gunwalkers. I'm not sure if he's a Scrin faction or what, but... Gonna take out this here, and here he is with some disintegrate. I'm gonna hold this off easily. Okay, take the spike over, go for some devour tanks because those are really good versus mecha piece. Let's see what he's got going on here. Is he going for eco? Yes, he has been doing just that. And he's, he likely will go up there and try and kill the spike once again. Okay. So the name of the game now is pretty much to eco up and go for like tripods, I think. Remember to kill some hamsters over here. Nevertheless. He is a bit suspicious that I could have something there, which is true. Okay. So I'm going for those tripods. He's not here of anything. No. 
I'm going to take that blue tip though, however. And yeah, I mean, he's over there with the harvester. Okay. He's got disintegrators. He's got plenty of seekers too. I didn't imagine he would hit make that many. But yep, yeah, here he is. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. It's tripods pretty much at this point. Alright, get back. Tripods in action. I think he may have made too many tripods. He's taking that spike back once again. Okay. I need to scout what he's doing though, right now. He's got Mechapedes now. Just need to scout what he's got going on in his base. And. Yeah. He's just used his phase as well, so I forced him to use his own phase. Okay. He's went Mech Hexapod, which is surprising because I can just phase that. He's not actually focusing right now. It looks like he's probably bothered on that at the moment, but yeah, nonetheless. We go for corruptors here, and I've already got stasis shields. So I don't need to go for further those. He is on stat. He went for his. He's got tripods. Okay. Okay, let's get charged up here. Do I have both of my upgrades to my tripods? The attenuated four seals as well is necessary. He's going to spam tripods now. Is he going for more disintegrators? He probably is. So I'll take this out and go for tripods once again. And take more of that uh, lovely blue Tiberium. I'll just retreat. I do have the better tripod, so I'm pretty much fine versus him. Okay, um, so let's see what he's got going on here, his hexapod's there right now, so I might just go in and just, you know, empt that. Just going to take out these here. Alright, I'm going for those there. He's got his tripods and stuff. Alright, I'm going to take out this portal here, stop him from making reinforcements. Here goes nothing. And that's probably going to be GG, I'd imagine, at this point. And that's going to be GG, because he now he uses phase as well, so that's pretty much it for Dimmy. He does have that commando, so he can go ahead and grab my one of my tripods, but I don't think that's going to be quite enough for him. Again, I need to watch for that commando because he can pop out of nowhere. Did take a lot of damage there, Dimmy. 
But yeah, he's only going to be able to kill like one tripod at most, so it's not really a big deal. Um, I'll just take out all of his harvesters, guess. And if he approaches again with his forces, I will be just fine. I do have all this blue tigerium here, so he really can go in and kill me with it. Uh, he really can't afford to lose any forces here. So yeah, Demi's probably going to just throw in the tower here right now. And that's GG because I have secured the middle green field. And that's why I need to secure victory. And I think where he went wrong there was he made the Megapedes. And um, yeah, Megapedes are... I know based on what he has done versus me in the past that they're just not that good versus tripods. And if you make tripods, uh, it's just much better. Especially as Reaver 17 because you do have the conversion reserves and the green beam which uh, supercharges your tripods. I was behind economically but I just scored better trades. And I um, managed to uh, split his army enough for me to engage his hexapod and waste his uh, stasis ultimately. Alright guys, Marcy here back to do another game versus Dimitri, and I'm going to be still Talons, which is a little unfortunate. Um, granted they are okay I guess, but they have many bad matchups. If he's Zocom, I'm going to be pretty chuffed about that because Zocom don't have any answer to the Juggernauts. But this map, um, I'd say favours, um, on maps where there's no contested fields, Juggernauts and artillery in general just not as impactful as they would be on maps such as the last one I played on where artillery is a thing. Fortunately, um, his artillery in screen mirror is kind of useless because I have the best anti-air in the game as Reaper 17. Almost grabbed that before my um, funds. Obviously that would have been bad because you need to place down a refinery to get the $500 bonus early on. I'm spreading out my uh, infantry squads just so I can see if he's going to rush me of anything early on uh, because that is always a um, possibility. And I'm going to keep these two in a pair just so I can uh, anti-scout what he has as well. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to peep up here, see if he has anything. He's going to be Skren. Okay then, so... Well, here goes nothing. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take him out. And he's not going to be able to kill that. Lizardsons do tank damage though, I have to say. Hopefully I don't fall victim to the reverse boot bug, that would suck as well. Can't really chase me because my unit is faster. But yeah, he did force out the MRT in the end. Okay. I can just kill those out right now. My house is idle. That just did distract me a little bit. Okay. And... I'm guessing that's all he has as far as scouts go, so I can probably just go ahead and make some MRTs and follow this up more. So I'll do just that. I'll go for some more MRTs and try and take, uh, I'll try and stop him from taking this uh, blue field. Okay. So here I come, and should be able to intercept this. Okay, uh, maybe I can mind drop this here. And if I kill this, then that's going to be a good result for me, really. Looks like he's intent on trying to uh, cancel my expansion as well. 
but I don't think that's going to work out for him. Anyway. He's probably got his refinery on hold. In fact, he's over here right now. He's over here. Uh, I'm not sure what Dimmy's doing, but he's got nothing to hold this back. Okay, I'll put drop this here. And he's going to lose two harvests straight away, so that's unfortunate for Dimitri. And I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's very much behind here. He hasn't got anything. He's got Devour tanks out now, uh, but yeah, he does have those fucking Seekers once again. Not sure where they are. I'm a bit worried about those. And if he goes to Devour tanks, I could just... Just take this out real quick. Take this out and and here he is. And I can just go over here now and go for more of those. Where's that? One with the anti infantry. I want to stop him from scouting this. Okay. So I might be to go in and kill one more of those um, forces. And also, I want to go for Firehawks too. Call in the V35 Oxes. So I'm going to come over here and try and take out one more harvester of his. So by the time he gets an AA down, I should be able to kill one harvester at most, I think. Lucky actually escaping there with nothing. And obviously those can repair themselves when they're in airborne as well. See what he's got going on now in his base. Um, nevertheless, I'm going to go for the rail guns as well as mammoth tanks. Okay. Also, I could probably take some of that blue type room considering how much of the map I have currently. Need to see where those seekers are as well. They're probably over here trying to harass a harvester of mine. He's going for storm riders. Interesting. So he's going to opt to go for the storm rider, rider route. Okay, okay, that's fine. Where the fuck are my firehawks? Let's get those back to base. Uh, amount of tanks as well should be en route. Disintegrators are going to be of limit effectiveness as well once I have the the rail guns online. Okay, let's put the railgun accelerator on here. Take out this warp chasm quickly. <laughs> Obviously, I won't take any damage with the MRTs there uh, when I use the railgun accelerator on the Titans because the drone will just repair that damage off. 
Uh, it only needs to touch the Titan once, by the way, for it to do that, and then it no longer takes damage afterwards. It's something that I found and I published in a guide that I made um, a few years ago, which you can find on Game Replays. Though unlikely because um, it's hard to find anything on that website, but yeah, you have to take my word for it. It is... Um, Steel Talents have a few tricks up their sleeve, um, though it did take me a, a huge advantage to win that game. Obviously, it spiraled out of control when I killed those two Harvesters um, because he uh, under overreacted. So yeah, guys, back to do some more games. And we're on Tournament Dust Bowl No Paper Edition. And Dimmy apparently is complaining that he has... Um, an issue of his hand. Uh, I've had it a few times as well. It does affect you playing. Um, yeah, it's it's really that either player is in the best of forms. It's just one of those things. Like it could be one day that Bike Rush or Dimmy is in the best shape ever, and I'm just in terrible shape, or vice versa. It's rare that you find both players are, you know, in topsy turvy shape. Nevertheless, I'm going to be mock here, and I'm sending. Some awakened uh, around because I know that all other scouts in the game can reach these buildings in the middle before me, so I'm going to avoid that and I'm going to go around. I also want to grab this building too, for reasons which I mentioned in my previous VODs as well, in that this building grants a huge freaking radius, as you can see to there. He's going to be Black Hand, which sucks, admittedly. He could be rushing, just, I mean, I know that Dimmy likes to rush, I mean, go flanks. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for bikes after my third harvester and hope that he doesn't all in me. I mean, he could all in me because he knows now that I have a sore arm. I know that he has a sore arm, so he's probably going to just all in. So, yeah. Um, nevertheless, I'm going to use these to scout him, these awakened squads, to see if he's going to go for some sort of rush, which is possible. Send this harvester back to base uh, for repair quickly as well. And he doesn't know that I'm rushing up. It's likely that he uh, is doing the exact same build. He's black hand. Okay. I'm not sure what happened to the other squad. It must have got crushed by a harvester, though his harvester is stealthed. This may force him to go for more units. He probably didn't see that. So yeah, Dimmy apparently is going to go bikes. I didn't know he was rushing himself. Alright, well that did put me behind quite a bit. I'll just go back to base, I guess. Uh, no need to push this any further. Alright. I was a bit confused because I saw three harvesters and thought that he was just going to um, eco. But maybe I'm wrong. He probably got paranoid and thought that I was rushing or something. I'm surprised he didn't stay back at base because he didn't know that I did this. Like, that's the thing. He didn't scout me. He just somehow knew. Nevertheless, I want to see if he's going to go for um, more uh, harassment options or what. And uh, I think he would, to be honest, go, just go eco right now. As you can see, he's just ecoing ahead. He's got a refinery down. So, yeah, he's a bit ahead after killing that one harvester there. So now it's just going to be a macro battle, which is fine by me actually. I'm just going to go Scorpion Tanks. I am Mock. He's Black Hand. Um, I probably will just go for... He's going Bike Buggy, so I can just hold this off with, with this. And yeah, I, I'm going to go Double War Factory before I tech up as well. Because I feel that Demi's just going to spam. I want to spread these out as well, these refineries, because it is a knob mirror. So that's what I shall do. I want to keep these buggies alive as well for future scouting purposes. 
he doesn't know what I'm doing, that's the thing. I don't I don't understand why he's not poking in, even scouting me, or even attempting to scout. He's just... He's just doing this. Nevertheless, I'm going to spam Scorpion tanks right now. He's over here. And he's over here now. He's got bike buggy. He's on tier 2 as well, he just revealed that, which is handy to know. Should have got the um, upgrade then as well. Can't really scout him, unfortunately. He can Tivane me, which is a bit of a concern. I'm going to try and get around here and uh, tip vein him. Okie dokie, and go for avatars too. I, just, I need to see where he is in the game right now. He could be splitting his refineries up. I don't know what he's doing. But yeah, I'm going to scout him. He's going to go eco, he's on tech now. He's going to go for the... Okay. Um. You can just barely see that refinery. Dimmy's very passive with his bike buggy. He's not really engaging at all. But I've noticed this is what his playstyle is, in essence. Trying to see where his army is. Okay, he's over here. gonna go around I'm just waiting for him to go in the tip field so I can get a nice tip vein off that's why I'm not selling anything So he's got Scorps here, going for Redeemer now. Just seeing where his forces are. He's got those bikes, he's not wasting them. Where the fuck's the Redeemer going that way? Got those bikes and buggies. Uh, he hasn't used any one clicks on me, which is a bit odd, really. I would have thought that he would have done that. Get a Venom in there just to see what he's doing. Maybe even a nuke as well, if we're going to go to the long game, because Dimmy is a bit of a camper. So, yep, I am ready for for that. 
Not sure where his army is right now. It's probably somewhere around. I just need to keep scouting the best I can. If I can get an uh, raised gen off here, it'll be pretty sick. Okay. Is that bugging harvesters? Yeah, it is. Fortunate. He's got an amp sender. Okay. If I can force those units in the tip field, then I can get a nice sweet win. That's all I have to do. Okay, he's staying well clear of my army here. Uh, use his rage gen there. Good use of that. sure what it's doing though looks like my redeemer got caught by surprise as well just not used to these these sort of games Take those out. And he's just going to win with that now. Um, he didn't make the mistake that I thought he would, which was to go in the Tiberium field. Which is a little unfortunate. I got my Redeemer completely out of surprise, caught by surprise. And now it's just a poor engagement, so... Yeah, um, I guess that's the problem. If you don't have a bike buggy force, you can't really um, um, com combat your opponent's bike buggy force. I'm not. It's not really my game. That game style camping with super weapon and roaming around the map uh, for 20 minutes. But it seems like Dimmy is well adept in that strategy because uh, he, obviously, that's all he does. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, the that's why I try to intend to be aggressive versus him and get an advantage early on because I don't like those games that him and Senna both play. It's really not my thing, but yeah, it is what it is. Alright guys, back to do some more games. We're going to be Scrin Vanilla on Tournament Rift, so it's classic Tournament Rift. And uh, as I struggle to find my hotkeys, I'm going to place my power plant right at the back, just in case he goes Shadow Teams and rushes me with Shadow Teams. Nevertheless, I'm going to try and take the spikes in the bottom. Sure, why we got a bit of lag? I'm guessing it's my on my end because Dimmy's connection is has since been um, improved. He's mentioned that he has uh, better internet now, so most likely my end. But 
Yeah, I need to see what faction he is here. It's it really versus random. You have no freaking idea what to do whatsoever. It's. I just don't like. I, I'm trying to get a quick advantage by doing this strategy here. Likewise, he would probably be aiming to do the same. That's why we tend to play, not play on poker maps nowadays. I just need to try and get this bunker here. Okay. Here he is with his rifles. I'm going to come over here. Try and force him to split off uh, some rifles. Okay, I'm going to come over here with the rifle squads. Here he goes with three rifles. I should be able to kill those, really. Okay. And the, of course the engineer does really do a good job. And case in point, the engineer kills all of my buzzers. But I guess I could have just micro better and split one buzzer off. Uh, neither one of us really microed there. The uh, engineer does have to reload though. So if he was wondering why it didn't shoot, that's why. That's why it didn't shoot there, but... Um, yeah, you might as well just make engineers rather than rifle squads versus buzzers, because it looks like they do much better. <laughs> just makes more sense. But yeah, nevertheless, I am going to go for some Seekers, and I'm going to try and take some uh, Blue Tiberian. I first need to know if he's doing some sort of, um, you know, MRT build, which i done myself. I didn't check to see what faction he was, uh, Judai's faction in particular, so uh, I could be in trouble if I if something happens like that. I need to try and retain my spikes as well. That's what I'm aiming to do. Okay. Taking the blue Tiberium as well. Oh, I could just take that out. Where's my Seekers? Looks like they're well late to the party. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. I think he's got an Engineer here, so I need to try and kill that. Okay. I have to say, Dimmy, he's doing the right things. He's probably going to go for a fast tech Firehawk, which is a um, common build. I'm going to go for those Seekers once again. just keep one disintegrated here. I'm going to go to the base. He's actually just streamlining straight there. Which is a little odd. So yeah, Demi, well aware of that. He's not going to lose anything. Got that pit bull force still. We use these to kill the rifles and also scout, see what he's doing. Continue to spam these out. I just need to see what he's doing right now on his base. See if he's going to go for like firehawks or something. I need to know if that's the case. He's got his airfield there. He's going firehawks. Okay, well, I now know exactly what's going on, at least. 
and to weigh the counter firehawks as you go for seekers and two war factories so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna go for two warp spheres and god he is annoying with those pit balls he's got two firehawks already he's trying to aim down the tech Got man of tanks out now as well. Good to know. That will be done soon. Have I not got the other upgrade? No, nope, doesn't look like it. It's a bit unfortunate. Well, oh, eleven man of tanks around a water factory. I just forgot the upgrade, unfortunately, for me. I can use the Stasis Shield, however, which is going to be pretty sick, I guess, in a way. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. I don't have any funds though for the station shield. I just don't have any fucking income I need more disintegrators wow this is just a massacre man holy shit wasn't expecting this station shield to wear off that quickly and maybe I, I mean I made too many disintegrators I feel that was the problem Dimmy just knew exactly what was going that game and of course, Firehawks is really hard to counter, but he just knew and uh, done exactly what he needed to do. I think it was a bit slow. Uh, I let, let those people do way too much. I did get more eco than him, but yeah, that initial engagement with the engineer, I really shouldn't have lost that many. And I really should have gone Seekers on four harvests as well. I would have punished him going for that field. He didn't have any scouts in my base. That was unfortunate. But yeah, Dimmy takes another game off of me. Uh, embarrassing because I was versus Steel Talons, but yeah, he also lost versus Steel Talons. But uh, yeah, GG. Alright guys, back to do another game versus Dimmy. I'm going to be Reaper 17 this time. And the map is going to be Tournament Decision. I'm going to be Reaper 17 as I mentioned before. And this is going to be normal Tournament Decision, so there's two spikes in it, unlike the variant of it where there are two. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be Reaper 17. That's, I've got nothing but Reaper 17 in the last few games, it's actually quite annoying me. I think random stuck or it's broken or something because I've received nothing but this faction. I mean, granted, it is a good faction, but I would like to play something else. Thank you very much. Especially nods. I, I do like nods. So the game, if, game, if you would be nice and give me some nods, that would be just great. And of course, what do I even do? I'm fucking versus random. He's... I'm going to go over here. Okay, all right. It's just a shit fest, really, when it comes to buzzer versus buzzer. But it's a good thing to do versus random. It's just you can tell that these players have um, optimized their strategies and openings for versus random only. Like if you, if you were to play a specific matchup versus them, they probably wouldn't have a freaking clue what to do. But it's a shame that everyone nowadays only wants to play one matchup, which is random v random. Because there's not much to really discuss in the early game of these matches, because it's the same every time. 
He's going to be Skren at least, I think. Or hopefully he's not Traveller, because that would be just depressing if he is. Um, so... Yep. Um, um, what do I even do versus him? Just Eco, I think, is the best bet here. He's going to get a scout on my base because, of course, he just lost one. He must have made a few buzzers there. Okay, he's on five harvesters, I think, right now. Okay, take out this buzzer real quick. And oh, he's in that building too, okay. I think he's going to try and evac that and scout me. Uh, I think that's what he's going to do. Don't want him to scout what I'm doing, so I'm going to try and stop him from doing just that. So if I could try and stop him getting in, that would be great. Go make some disintegrators and anti-scout as best I can. Okay. I'm able to block his um, station shield if I do this. Okay. He's got his. Wow, you just got that down nick of time as well, didn't he? Maybe if I was seconds off from that, I would have probably been okay, but nevertheless. Probably timed that a bit wrong. I'll go around here then with my forces and. We're just going for a, a warp chasm now, I guess. Um, he has screen, so he can go for a, a a commando and try and take my drone ship. But yeah, that did essentially nothing. That what I just did there. I'm going to go for the upgrades for my tripods. Try and take out his um, state uh, spikes. That would be a nice advantage if I could do that. Get some engineers here in here in preparation for losing my uh, tripods, which is most likely going to happen. He's going to use his uh, swarm here, no doubt. Okay. Got my shields online. Gonna come over here. Got the engineers on the way. He's got his shields down as well. Okay, and he's got his um, everything that he needs really. I don't have the, the, the station shield now, so that's gonna be a big problem for me. Okay, he got his thing out as well. That sucks. Probably gonna go for dev warships. And those Reaper tripods are very, very powerful, as you can see.
Okay, well, here goes nothing. And it'll be a miracle if I win this somehow. And that's gonna be GG. <laughs> Sorry for not talking, guys. I really had to concentrate there. I didn't um, move my um, harvesters, so if that failed, I would have been in deep trouble. Though it looks like some of the harvesters fortunately rallied there, but I really needed to win a bit major engagement after that failed stasis. He didn't stasis himself, which was fortunate as well. <laughs> I guess he forgot that, but nevertheless, that's gonna be GG. And quick game there. Took it by surprise, actually, because I did feel with the station shield, but uh, yeah, anything's possible, especially in that matchup where I know I have the better tripod, so I won a good engagement, I pretty much won it. Alright guys, back to do the last game, and I'm going to be on uh, Tiki Turmoil here. I'm going to make this my last game because I am pretty exhausted now, and I'll try and see if I can wrap this up on a good note. So, yep, yeah, going to be Screen Vanilla. Um, again, I'm, I'm a bit, my mind's a bit clouded as to what to do, like it normally wasn't ever in the past, but as of late it has been. Anyways, I'm versus Haru Specs, I'm going to be Screen Vanilla. I just need to see what faction he is right now, because otherwise it's somewhat awkward. It's going to be Black Hand, okay. Well, that's good to know. He might be t taking that um, in, um, defensive tower. It's probably what he's going to do. If he's sent two cabals that way, he doesn't know what I am. That's the thing. Like he sent two cabals there without knowing what I am. I doubt he made mass cabals. Nevertheless. I'll just kill these actually. Let's see if he tries to throw the grenades. If you spam the S key, you can avoid the damage that you do on yourself. But yeah, I reckon I've taken less losses there than if he were to just stop and shoot, anyways. Uh, this will scout also if he's going for like flame tanks and stuff. So I'll get a nice scout off in here in his base. Oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? Why can't I micro? Like, I'm really not microing at all. Anyway, he's got more than one out right now. He's got two. I need to be ready for that. He's got a Reckoner out too. Okay. Good to know. Uh, where's that flame tank? Wow, I've lost the flame tank already. Well, that's a good start to this. Okay. I don't know where the Reckoner is, which is very, very alarming. The flame tank's not there. There's the flame tank. And the Reckoner. Why is not here. Not sure where it is. Gonna get into my base full health. Maybe I put that down a bit too prematurely. Yep, as expected. Just a mistake. Could have another flame tank, so I'll scout over here now. Likewise for over here. So I'm just going to scout and see if he's got more. That's pretty much what I'm going to do at this point. Take the blue tiber in when I can, basically. And see if he's going to go for two war factories. 
Maybe I could even try and stop him taking a uh, blue tip. He's got infantry. Maybe that was a reaction to my uh, army. Nevertheless, I'm going to try and take that out. That harvester there. Take that blue Tiberium. Okay. Take out these infantry here, and I need to scout as well. Really need to get an eye on his base, see what he's up to. Has he got this tower? Yeah, he has. Get back, 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 back. Probably on two or factories now. That is likely what's happened. Like buggy. Double ref on the expansion. I'm just gonna go mecha peas now. Okay, uh, infantry there. Now oh, his bikes are coming that way now. Okay, well he's over here. I'm gonna take that blue Tiberium though, see if he's gonna do any sort of transition of any sort. Kills another mecha, okay. Transfer some harvest to that field. I'm taking blue Tiberium. Right, he's got flame tanks there. I could take that out. He's on tier three as well. Shit. I didn't realize how quickly he recovered. Brutal stuff, this. Wow, what the fuck's happened? I'm on desktop. Oh my god. I'm gonna leave that there. Um, he's got he's got not anything he hasn't got anything in base now, so I can just move my hex bot in. And I will say one thing, I think her respects has definitely improved. You got buggies now. Uh, you can use. He can go quick EMP buggies to, to deal with this attack. He's not doing that though. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know if he's got any more flame tanks. I'll go check real quick. Continue to spam those flame, those um, megapedes out. Regardless. Still looking for all those flame tanks. It's a big map, so you know flame tanks can be pretty hard to stop. Nothing up here. I'm scrint, so I do get the attenuated force fields for my units, which is something I should have got earlier. He hasn't got an expansion now, which in leads me to believe that he's going to go for, like, uh, Redeemer now. Okay, this is over here. Has he got anything over there? Flame tanks or anything? May do. Okay, maybe a tier 4 as well for the packs. Come over here, take out his expansion. Now he's using his entire army here, basically. Um, get these around the back, go for packs. Even though it's not the most ideal of units to make, I just feel that it's my best bet. I'm gonna go for more of those planetary salt carriers and take more Tiberium. I, I could also throw down the Eichel Siege just so I can have more tip late, late long term. Um, let's take some blue Tiberium as well, move this out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, his tip core bikes are not here right now. I'm not sure if he has more of them or what, but... Yep, who specs holds on. Can take out this war factory real quick. And I don't think he's got more flame tanks. That flame tank harassment, though, really, really didn't expect that. Okay. Take out this here, this tier two. And the moment he loses this tier two, he's not going to have anything to destroy these packs with. And that's GG. So, um, awkward game. I should have probably lost more than I did there. I didn't expect him to take up so soon. Um, I went Mecha Peas and uh, Gunwalkers and Descents because I anticipated he would go from further aggression like from two war factories after his f failed rush with flame tanks but not to be. And uh, yeah I did uh, win that game um, by the skin of my teeth actually. I did uh, try my best to look out for those flame tanks in the end. Uh, he kept me guessing where, when and if he would make flame tanks. So yeah that's GG and I hope you guys enjoyed this VOD. I will bring more VODs to you. Uh, this is going to be one of many I will bring in the next month. So yeah stay tuned for more. This is Master Leaf. Peace out.